My daughter, when will you settle down? Time is going on. And you will soon be 30. Grandma, how old are you, Seth? That woman on me friend street that died last week did not live up to 65 years old. Time is going. And you, you will soon be 85. Hello everyone, how are you doing and how was your week? We hope you went well. We didn't come with anything special, but just to give you this little advice. You see, both man and woman, boy and girl, you get to a certain age that you become optimistic about settling down. You will begin to see all your friends getting married and you, you will feel as if you have no follow come. That's the time people will be asking you all sort of questions, including your own parents, especially mothers. They will ask you, Tinu Ade, is there anybody in your life? Yes, yeah, so tell her there is someone in your life. You have Jesus Christ in your life. Spoke up, matter concluded, resolved, package and close. No further hearing. This is my candid advice. It might not make sense, but trust me, it does. Because I was once there. Don't get into marriage just because of societal pressure. It won't go down well. There are two things you must put into consideration before settling down. Are you emotionally ready? Secondly, are you financially ready? You see that second one, eh? Hey, if you know get them, eh? You better make sure that you sign agreement with your partner for better for worse. Really, for better for worse. You know, sometimes people will tell you, you don't have to get all the money in the world before you marry. Of course, you don't have to. I will even tell you when I got married to my wife, we did not even have a bed to lay our head on. Marital motivational speakers. Yeah, the fact that it worked for one doesn't mean it will work for another. And the people who are giving this advice, at the time they got married, things were different. The thinking faculty of girls too was different from what we have today. So you have to make sure you have someone who understands you and is ready to go down the rough road with you if things get craggy before you dive in with a low esteem pocket. If not, after two weeks of marriage, when you are not able to provide money for food, that, that love that shock you into the marriage is the same thing that will make your wife to shock you with nasty comments like, you are not a real man, you can't even provide for your own family. It's not far from the truth. Don't let love blind you to the reality of marriage. Because when they go and get awkward, Auntie Love will hide her source face away from you and let you face the true core of your new reality. Love exists, but reality exists more factual. Many people rush in and they rush out. And once you rush out, it means you are back to square one. This time is even worse because you are flooded with negative emotions and encounters of your past relationship which will linger for a little longer than imagined. And at times, it even becomes a sort of barrier for your next attempt into the direction of marriage. Please, don't be included in the count if you haven't involved yet. So take your time. Love is not going anywhere. Marriage is not running away. The only thing that might run away is you when you don't prepare yourself before stepping into marriage. The same people that are pushing you to go and marry now, when yourself you know that you are not ready. By the time you get into marriage and tomorrow the going gets rough, Things begin to attempt falling apart and the center cannot hold. Then you run to them for assistance. They are the same people that will ask you, you know you were not ready. Why did you go into marriage? The same people that were gingering you to go and marry you, they will still go and gossip you to others that you rush into marriage. Is it by force to marry? He saw people marrying and he rushed inside. Now he is out. It happened to my cousin's friend. His wife put to bed and he went to one of his uncles for assistance in order to complete hospital bill. This happened like 8 years ago. The same uncle that was always asking him when are you getting married. The answer he gave him instead of money was, if a child is not of age, he shouldn't go to play in the village square. You know what that adage means. What it means, if you know you were not ready for the responsibilities, you shouldn't have gotten yourself involved. Exactly. So you better ignore even those self-afflicted questions and emotional blackmail about why you need to get married as soon as possible. Settling down is not a competition though. The same banana bunch that was caught the same day, some get ripe while others are still hard. 
But don't forget that the one that get right first also might get spoiled first. So the ice cream that they remove from fridge first too, it will be the one that will first melt too. Whether you use flights or you take a bus, you will still get to Asaba. Take your time and get ready before you dive in. And please don't pressurize others because yours came on time. Especially for the girls. It's not their fault, they can't marry themselves. And for the young men that are supposed to marry them, economy is not smiling at them. Because it's a disaster to go into marriage without a means of livelihood. It's like starting a night journey without enough fuel to take you to your destination. Killing station no they open by 2 o'clock. Till we bring you another episode of Dark Mode TV again next Saturday at 7 a.m. Please remember to subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Also leave a comment if you are going through the same societal marital pressure and let us know how you handle it. It might be of help to someone you know. Stay blessed and see you next Saturday when we we'll come your way again with another piece. Butcher!